Hiya. Okay, we're going back to the Let's Play, but it has been a hot minute, and I don't know where I left off. So, uh, when we get back into there, into the game, um, I'm gonna be a little disoriented at first. Uh, but I'll, I'll get to it in a little while. Let's go. So, big asterisk. I have removed the um, uh, atmospheric um, realism overhaul mod. Uh, not because I didn't like it. I actually liked it quite a bit. Um, it's just that I'm doing other stuff right now, and it's uh, um, a little too difficult to go back and forth between the two. Um, I am restarting the game after the farming update, and it looks like it took away my potatoes. Bastard. Uh, okay, there's a big potato there. Got a potato there. can barely see. Um, it looks like I don't have any seeds. So, I'm gonna have to plant the potato potato. Here. Uh, not a lot of water. I guess I was... Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was gonna go out and mine. But I haven't done that yet, have I? Have I? I don't know, I have to find out. Uh, now that the um, the sun's up, I'm going to plant the potatoes, because um, I don't ever want to not have plants growing. Let's take a look at my atmosphere. I'm not going to roll plate. You bastard. I'm missing a battery. That better not be because of the save. Oh, it could be because of the save. You jerk! Actually, I'm missing a few things. There should be something here, and there should be a larger, a large battery over here or over here. No, that's yeah, that's empty, right? Yeah, that's empty. Uh, oops. There we go. Found a large battery. And I do want a large battery in that, uh, that tablet. So I've got a little bit of poison in here. Some nitrogen, some CO2, and lots of oxygen. Uh, I don't really need that much oxygen, but. Uh, I guess we're going to do that. Am I human? Yes, okay, I am human. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, um... I guess I had... Uh, the wrong thing. I'm going to put the battery back in the... backup... Um, Thing because I, I kind of like to have the uh, backup spacesuit all ready to go, and I'll put this in here. Okay, a little confused. Uh, the robot's still there, and I don't think I can turn him on. Is my lid open? Yeah, okay. My helmet is open. Plant is growing. I remember doing this. That's the wrong thing. How did pollutant get in there? What's in the crusher? Just water, but there's junk in that line there, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to clean up the, the atmosphere soon. Did I mention I wasn't gonna RP because I'm just sort of tired with that? I don't want to do that anymore. Let's, uh... load up on some oxygen. Air tank critical. 
I would like to see if there's a way to get the New Zealand uh, New Zealand sounding voice back. Okay, let's go outside, take a quick peeky peek at uh, what I've what I've done out there. Um, okay, everything's on. Okay, so I got that set up. Uh, I don't think there's any much of anything in here, just seeds and stuff. Yeah, just seeds and stuff. Um, this I wasn't using. This is not supposed to be there. Light on. Doors. Uh, portable scrubber. Ooh, need the portable scrubber because we're going to start cleaning our environment. Uh, arc furnace and nothing else. And we're not using the uh, the rover because it's pretty glitched. It slides all over the place. We don't need a we don't need a slidey slide. Um, let's stick our head in here. Ooh, we got some nickel, got some iron, got some coal, got some gold, got some silver. What's this? This is wreckage. Oh, I think I remember hurting myself on the wreckage. Yeah, there's not a lot in there. So, um, let's see what's on the lander. I can't remember what's on the lander. It's been like, well, like over a week since I played this, uh, this save. Maybe I'll go back to role playing once I'm comfortable again. Uh, so, solid generator, consoles, data disk, sensors, air locky lock. Ooh, gold. Free gold. Light on. Uh, portable generator, portable AC, spare wrench, uh, road flare, flag, some paint, advanced airlock, and nothing. Okay. So. Uh. Come on, get up there. I don't know what I'm looking for. I think maybe I'm going to want iron. I haven't made steel yet, and I don't think I'm going to make steel right away. I think what I really need is an ability to um, filter out my gases here. I also might want to move that back one so I can have like a plant platform to actually stand on. Okay, I remember putting two of these up here. Oh, uh, what's this? I think it didn't blow up. Yeah, so that caught on fire and it blew old me out the base a couple feet and it blew the, uh, or a couple meters, and it blew the uh, the robot really far down that way. And I found myself and I, and I, I, I had a nice little role play that I'm going to pat myself on the back. Good you. Okay. Now we're going to look for iron, because that's what I need, is iron. That's not iron. Oh, is there a battery in here? Yes, there is, but it's only at 60%. Don't need gold. I might role-play as the robot for a while. Oh, there's more wreckage over here, so we'll continue role-playing the wreckage. Oh, what was that? Oh, my hydration's low. Found more wreckage. Role play, role play, role play. Was I doing a British voice the last time? I don't remember. <laughs> I can't. I can't do accents super well. There's certain accents that I can do well, but not. Uh, uh, not British accents. They sound way too exaggerated. Although I guess I could practice them. I think that's iron. Yep, that's iron. 
So now we go back to the boring bits. Not as boring as the splicer. I suppose you can put the splicer on and then walk away from it, but it eats your seed. The damn bastard. The piece of crap. Is that it? Just one piece? That's all you're going to give me? I wonder if I can call this the uh, the gods of this game Randy, too. Everybody on uh, RimWorld calls it... Calls, uh... Well, that's the storyteller's name is Randy. Randy Random. The gods of the R&D. Uh, that's... Is that iron? Yeah, that's iron. Okay. It, uh, that, uh... They've changed the, um... Um, how mining works a little bit. It used to be that when you got, like, like that, when it just pops up a little bit, it doesn't seem to pop up as readily anymore. Uh, you gotta be pretty close. Like, you gotta be almost clipping, uh, the tool through the ground to see it. Now, I think... I saw on Cows Are Evil's um, last uh, video that it's less likely for you to get damaged uh, while mining, which is a good thing. It is not harder to get damaged while building stuff if you've even partially trapped in something that you're uh, like uh, bolting or welding steel sheets to. It is still pretty easy to get damaged. Uh, so, I probably should bear that in mind, because if this one dies, I'm not role-playing another one. I'm going to take that as a sign that I shouldn't be playing this. I've also decided what my mission is on this uh, playthrough. I am to set up a hydroponics uh, food station, a hydroponics uh, station, on. to supply food for all the off-world miners. Uh, and yes, my screen is dark. I don't have it brightened up. I can, whoops, I can barely see stuff. Critical. I'm gonna go back at least to the airlock. I think I went this way, right? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so glad. So glad to turn that on. That was, uh, I was going the complete opposite direction. Yeah, so, my, and I'm going to probably sell all the access to the, tra access to the trader. So, my goal is to set up a, um, a very large hydroponics or several smaller hydroponics um, bays and um, one or two uh, uh, trading platforms and they've changed so I don't know how to use them now I don't think they've changed too too much I think they've just made them bigger and stuff and I think I read in the patch notes that there's something about having to compress having to uh, um, uh, airlock the uh, the um, um, the traders that you have to have a um, an airtight uh, a docking bay or something like that. Am I remembering that wrong? Oh, that's not that's that's slow. Uh, I think you are. Yeah, you're a dead doorknob. There you go. So I'm going to open my my thing of blobber, and I'm going to have a drink. Mm. Drink deeply, deeply. Drink deeply. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't do S A A S M R. I'm sorry. That's that was that was not cool of me. I hate it too. Uh, let's put a another potato in there. I, I wish it wasn't a microwave. I wish it was like a toaster oven or something, because... Uh, 
Although, if you've ever uh, microwaved, uh, like the difference between microwaving a potato and um, actually baking a potato, there it's like night and day. I don't uh, typically eat potatoes because I hate potatoes. I don't like starch. I, I don't like starch. Like, that may sound like, oh, that's a weird thing not to like. No, I don't like starchy things. Pasta has to be cooked to the point where it's, like, super soft or I just will not eat it. I think... I think that's part of having... Um, I guess they call it autism spectrum now, but... My day, we called it Asperger's. That uh, texture is more important than taste to me. If something has a weird texture, I cannot eat it. I, I think that's why I hate eggs so much. I don't like the taste of eggs either, but I mean, if they're in something, I don't care. But um, it's just ugh. it's like putting it's like putting hard slime in your mouth. Why would you want to do that? Terrible. So this is boring, so let's fast forward or jump cut some of this. Well, nope. I just damaged the suit, so yeah, they didn't exactly fix that. Just digging a little hole right here, and there's really no place where you can stand where it would cause damage. And uh, it just went thunk, so it damaged. So, um... That's not exactly uh, improved upon, so uh, let's just keep going, shall we? Maybe, uh, maybe stand a little further back. That might, that might be, that might work. Ah, no place like home. Oh, uh, for uh, like. Put my window open. Uh, has it made you crave more water? Do you need more water now? Is that a thing? Okay, let's see. How are my little planty plants doing? You are thriving. What's temperature in here? Temperature is... 32 degrees! Oh my god! Oh, that's what I needed to do. Oh, I needed to make a, make a, a thermal bleed off. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. That is so clumsy of me. Oh, man. I need to make a thermal bleed off. And I was out of iron. That's why I was, that's why I needed to go mining. I completely forgot. It, it just went right over my head. So we're going to have to. Uh, what a wreckage down there. I can't see color. Light there on. we go. So I actually need all of you, you bad bastards. Come on. Come back. We're gonna have, we're gonna have fun in the arc furnace. We're gonna have a hot time. Okay, let's, uh, is everybody 50? That's not a 50. No, everybody else 50? Yeah, everybody else is 50. Whoops. Oh, that's a 12. Oh, that's a nasty 12. Ah, there we go. Jetpack on. We'll load it up. Thunk. Okay. Let's start. <sighs> oh no! I am out of copper! Can I get my head in there? No, I can't. I need to actually go get my tool belt. Oh man, I could steal some copper from there. Am I like completely out of copper? I, I seem to remember being out of copper. Oh, no, I got some copper! <laughs> uh, you can't keep a good bitch down! There we go. Okay, back outside. 
We need to we need to do this quickly. We're at we're at 32 degrees. We get too hot and we'll screw everything up. Because now we have to be careful about what our plant temperature is. Uh, no, get in there. Huh? Is there something in there? Yeah, there is. I guess I was actually doing it and forgetting that I was doing it. Okay, what's uh, what's coming off of uh, this? Um, no, Carmen's not coming off of this. Um, carbon dioxide and pollutant. I think I was talking about making a, a room for this so that I can capture and keep the, the gas. I think I should uh, actually plan for that because that's a lot of gas. I would use um, a regular old furnace because you can off-gas stuff in the regular old, for old furnace, but uh, it's semi-difficult to keep those things warm, whereas the art furnace just requires electricity. So I would um, much rather just feed the art furnace. Now the trade-off is, is that if you're using a furnace furnace, I, can, I could put all of this ore in there all at once and then, you know, just bring it up to 600 degrees for a second, poop out the iron, and then let it come back down. But that involves a lot of temperature regulation that I don't want to do right now. And that I may not want to do at all because um, in this playthrough, I'm, I'm it's not going to be big mining. Like, I think I'm going to be getting everything I want through the trader once I get the trader set up. Which I will have to learn how to do because I don't actually know how to do the traders. I have never actually summoned a trader, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I built a rocket, and I've launched a rocket, which is has nothing to do with the trader, of course, but um, like, I mean, it's just one of the things in the game that I haven't done. Yeah, that's a lot of gas that I could be capturing right now. And I could just I could keep it this way, because you can reach that button and that button. Kind of awkward, though. Or I could put a chute up over and just poop it out. I don't know. What's my power like at? I can't see, and I don't care. Because I can just turn this on. It's got some coal in it. Oh, that's the wrong playthrough. Uh, there's a little bit of coal in there. It's midnight. Okay, so we'll go over here. Because I got my tool belt on me now, I will take this off of that. Okay, is there anything else on here? Oh no, it fell apart while I was trying to dismantle it and I lost all of the all of the, the resources. Oh no. Oh, I'm going to have to yell at dispatch. Because no one else listens to me. If you've ever had a job, any kind of logistics job, you know that the only person that you can yell at is dispatch. You can't get a meeting with anybody else. You can't get um, anybody else to stick around for very long. So the only people that you have uh, any kind of inclination to yell at or get anything out of or any push off your frustrations or anything is dispatch. And usually they have nothing to do with anything you're doing. All they're doing is giving you your paperwork. But they're all part of the same organization, so they can go to hell. And I mean that from the bottom of my soul. All of you dispatchers out there, you can go to hell. Yeah. So let's do this until we're done. Or I get hungry or thirsty. Then we'll go back inside and um, see what happens. Oh no! 
I need steel for this. <sighs> Darn it. Okay. Let's, uh, go back inside. Because I need to make a furnace. I need to make steel, even though I don't want to. Let this blow off so that I don't accidentally suck, um... Uh, pollutants in there. And we will also blow off our... Uh... Thing. Waste tank. That's it. Cool. Uh, come on, let me, let me. Uh, okay, here we go. Now I think the the standard auto lathe uh, makes the furnace. Let's satiate my carnal instincts. Carnal might just mean sex, but I think it actually means like basic instincts or something. I don't know. Let's forget that I said it. Okay, um, what's in here? Some silicon. Is that it? Just silicon? Oh, uh... Iron, gold, copper, and nickel. What do I need for a furnace? I have everything I need for a furnace. Baked potato. Okay, this will go bad in three hours. But I don't think any of the potatoes in here will. Oh, and it's still going towards seeding. So, yeah, they were lo they're a lot longer. It's been so long since I played this game. It was before I watched uh, Wednesday. And I watched Wednesday like the day after it came out or something. Or I didn't watch Wednesday the last the last time I played this. And there's still, um, there's still an hour's worth of gameplay that I can uh, pull off of that. I think the audio is going to be screwed up though because at the first the first part of the gameplay I stuffed the microphone into my mask because I thought it would be interesting and funny but it just turned out to be annoying which is like you know the the uh, the short anthem of, it, of any YouTube video you think that it's going to be interesting but it just turns out to be annoying and that puts you over here there. Yeah. Okay, so what are you at? Oh. No. Okay. Uh, that sound completely went away. There's not much gas in there. Not much in there either. Is that set to 8,000? That should be pumping over, but it's not. It's equalized. I'm pretty sure that the um, I'm pretty sure the mod's not not installed, but it's possible that I accidentally installed the mod, which is one of the things that the mod does is it takes the pump out of these things, so they're just um, equalizers. Okay, so I got you. What else do I need? I need. Probably uh, nothing. Do I need nothing? I think I need nothing. I am going to start the furnace using solids. I can use this gas. How much gas is there? It's quite a bit. But I don't think I want to do that. Do I want to do that? I don't want to do that. That's a little too complicated right now. Making um like a gas feeder for the for the 
to the furnace. I could do that, but then I would need like a pump and I need a valve and pipes. That's what I need, pipes. I got any pipes? Oh. Yep, I got pipes. And I got a valve. And stuff that I don't really need right now. Oh, uh, let's trade this water off. Keep all of our water topped up in case we have something go wrong. What? There's no wrench right there. Oh, iron frame. Why did, oh, because I read the bottom. I was like, why did I think that said wrench? Because I read the bottom line. Um, yeah, I guess let's go put the furnace together, which is not, like, super hard, but whatever. Uh, close the helmet, shut you off, drain you. Doop. No, no, there we go. Damn it. Oh well. So, hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the wrong pipes. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm a professional. Uh, let me out. Jetpack on. Thank you. I'm a professional. There we go. Okay. So, now we are going to put a T in there. We are going to put a uh, wrench in there. Now I need a valve. Which way is this valve pointing up? Uh, no, I would like it pointing downwards. There, downwards. There. Now I just put the rest of the pipey pipe on there. And we'll go right to the ground. Right to the ground. Like this. And they've changed the thermal dynamics of the pipes. So this pipe will not bleed very much um, heat into the atmosphere. Do I have... No, I don't have any sheets. I'm going to need sheets. Okay, there we go. Now I am going to put the furnace... Just right here. Uh, I can put it right next to it. Yeah, there's no problem putting it right next to it. There we go. While I'm waiting, I will do another thing of that. Okay, so that's put up. Now I'm going to need... I think I just need sh need iron sheets, right? Yeah, just iron sheets and nothing else. Let's just make sure. That's the wrong button. We're not doing that. Um, this is a glitch. I mean, you're supposed to be able to, to search when you push that button, but you can't. Uh, is that it? That doesn't look it. Oh, it is, does look like it. So, need iron sheets and a wrench, iron sheets and a torch, so I just need iron sheets. And I do have iron sheets, and this is going to suck some poison into my atmosphere, but that doesn't matter. Oh, I also need... Um, 
That's plastic sheets. <sighs> oh, there's iron sheets. I thought it didn't have any iron sheets. Okay, we can put these away. We don't need these. Okay. Can't see shit from Shinola. Iron. Air tank low. Um. Air tank critical. What is that? Five thousand? I think. Yeah, five thousand. Okay, so now that I have stuff in there, I need a connector. And I don't want an insulated connector. There we go. Because I'm going to hook up um, this portable scrubber. Oops. Please be the right way. Yeah, that's the right way. Okay. So, um, how am I going to do this? I guess I could just let it fill up and then vent it outside or something. Uh, is this carbon dioxide? Yeah, they're both carbon dioxide. And I need to get poison out of the atmosphere. Now, we're not high enough yet to affect the plants, but... Uh, oh, that, that's fern seed. Okay, I'm going to grab the potato seeds. Preemptively. I don't think it'll seed again. Yeah, I don't think it'll seed again, but I don't think the I don't think the potatoes rot in there either, so I'm gonna make some what do I need for the medium filter? Silver oh we're not doing that. Um it'd be better if I push if I type in pollutant. Okay. Oh, I need a battery. Uh, I guess we're stealing the battery from the suit again. No, we don't need to. I don't. I don't want it to run for that long, or want it to run for that long. So let's get pollutant out of our atmosphere. There we go. How much is in here? That's going down pretty quickly. And I think I can also fill up the nitrogen canister, but I still got 5,000 um, kPa in my propellant tank, so that's not actually a concern right now. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh, I'm thirsty again. I've never seen anybody as thirsty as this uh, stationaire. She is constantly thirsty. Like, I'm surprised she's not peeing constantly. That should be part of the game. Like, you should have to put, like, a liquid canister in your in your suit that is, like, just liquid waste. Or just, yeah, just liquid waste. You don't have to say what it is. We all know what it is. And I would just like to get rid of this pollutant just for peace of mind before I go back outside. Okay. Peace of mind achieved. And we'll switch the batteries out so it has time to charge. And we're never without battery power. 
helmet, turn everything back on, and then suck this place out like a vampire. Wrench. There we go. So, um, I don't think we have a lot of coal. Uh, I think I've been uh, I've been avoiding getting most other light on uh, ores besides iron. And I didn't get very much of that. One of my main driving factors is to get a, a deep mine, but. I think you can actually get ores from the traders, so it's possible that I, I, I don't need to go to a mine, I just need to uh, get traders as quickly as possible, because um, uh, I, uh, I could just trade food for, uh, that's not what I wanted to throw down, I could, I could trade food for um, ores. Okay, so, oh. Everything I want is right there. Isn't that convenient? Oh, let me down. Let me down. Now, I'm probably going to need more than this. Come on. Don't, don't you dare hurt me. Power low. Oh, God, I hate you. I hate all of you. Jetpack on. I think that'll be enough to start the uh, start the smelting process. There we go. Perfect. <gasps> no. Yes. Okay. I I really should stop doing that. I'm 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 not trying to do that. The whispering stuff. It's 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 stupid. I don't want to do it. I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay, so we'll get away from the gases here, so nothing melts. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with six hydrogen uh, and three oxygen. Oops, that's not what I wanted. And three oxygen. And I'm going to attempt to ignite that enough to melt the melt the iron at least. Oh, some of that melted. Okay, is that fully charged yet? No, but it will be morning soon. That's, I didn't want the 22. Okay, what's the temp at? Temp's okay. Not okay for making um, steel, but it's okay for making iron, I think? For melting the iron? Yeah. So we're melting the iron. Everybody's happy. We've got sunshines and lollipops and rainbows. And I f forgot... Okay, it doesn't matter. I'll just make a splitter. Come on. That's a good furnace. Give me all that I desire. One more. There you go. Perfect. Now we've got some nice juicy ore. So, I forgot what I need to make steel again. And we need three times as much iron as coal. What do I have here? I have uh, 250. So what's a third of 250? Uh, 70? Uh, no. Uh, 
83 point something. Hmm. That point something is not a good point something. Is there any more iron in here? Oh, there is more iron in here. Perfect. I don't need to do any um, math. I just need three full stacks of iron. That's a full stack. And that's a full stack. And incredibly, that's a full stack. And I'll move you out of the way. Just get the rest of you. No, uh, you're not iron. You're not my friend. Go away. There we go. Jetpack on. Okay, so. We don't have as much coal as I thought we did. We've got only one full stack of coal. Oh, oh, I used all the rest. Oh, stupid me. Okay, so one full stack of coal. Okay, and three full stacks of iron. Um, was that sound in the game or in my apartment? I heard a pump shut off and I don't know if it was in the game or in my apartment. Steel, come on, give me steel. No steel, it's not hot enough. What's the temperature at? The temperature is at... Is that 800 Kelvin? That's 800 Kelvin, that should be enough, shouldn't it? Or is it higher than that? Let's hide behind the wall here, and I'm going to split off six more hydrogen, or six more volatiles, and three more oxalite. There we go. Whoops. Come on, get up there. Good. Oops, I didn't put the oxygen in there yet. Clicky, clicky, clicky! Steel ingot, yeah! Hi, steel ingot! So we got 200 steel ingot, and we're kind of high on the temperature, but I think... Hmm, do I risk it? Let's risk it. Let's risk doing all the rest of the iron. And we might do some of the other um, ores, but some of those ores release volatiles and oxygens, so that would not be a good deal. It's as bright as the sun. Okay, where's the iron? Let's put the iron in there so it's all just one big ingot. Or close to one big ingot. Is it over? No, nope, it's not going to be over. So I think you need 500 for to, for the... Uh, is 500 is one whole ingot, I think. There we go. Iron. Now, let's get in here. I don't really think I need that much nickel. But I don't want to waste all that heat. Because it, uh, well, it wasn't a super pain to get. It uh, wasn't exactly super easy either. Okay, is that everybody? That's everybody. Jetpack on. There. Oh, 
temperature's already falling. Um, what needs the most temperature? I think, I think silica needs the most uh, thermal. I will spit you out now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, silver is pretty up there. Oh, did it go in? No, it didn't. Silver ended up in my hand. This is also silver. Open. Open. I'd watch it be close to blowing up. Nope. <clears throat> okay, we'll pop the silver out. And what do we need? Uh, next, we're going to go for gold. This has got, I think uh, gold releases oxygen, so um, gotta be careful. I'm, um, nickel might release hydrogen, I'm not sure, or volatiles, I'm not sure. You have to keep an eye on that, uh, that gauge. If it starts really getting up there. Oh, nickel melts quickly. Or not that quickly. There we go. Now we got some nickel. Cool. Uh, is that everybody? Uh, we don't really need to know. What is the... Uh, 800 Kelvin. So that's going to fall quickly. Doesn't matter. I've got some steel. That's all I really need and want. My back against the wall. Turn right off. Okay, please charge this. Thank you. And turn this on. I didn't know it was off. Hydration critical. Whoops. Okay, uh, we'll just put it in here for now. I think everything is in there. Doesn't super matter. The fact that we're using separate printers is always something that irritated me. We don't need separate printers. They all look identical. If the printers printed out like uh, progressively more or less complex things, I can understand it, but they all print out pretty much the exact same thing. Like the the the, the hydraulic um, printer also does stuff that's got like pretty complex electronics in it, and it doesn't really bend pipe only. Um, radiator kit, yeah, radiator kit. So I'm gonna need. One, two, three, I think I need six. Oh, we'll open you up. We're at 33 degrees, so we're not raising super fast. I thought I saw whooshies. Five. Yeah, that's it. The plant, the potato is just going to sit there. Okay. But I don't think it's rotting on the vine. I think it'll be okay, and I can use it as a as a means of storage, and a means of um keeping it fresh. Okay. Uh, close helmet, turn everything back on. Do do do. There. Now I gotta choose a uh, radiator. Right 
printed out too, too many. That's fine. Oh, get back here. Come on. That should work. Cool. And the temperature is falling. Yay! I'm going to bring it down to 25 degrees Celsius. And that will be like the temperature we hold it at. I think this one is the one for stuff. Yes, it is. We're at uh, 29. So any deadly, deadly gases? Caution. No deadly, deadly gases yet. Oh, two real hours. Okay. Um, is that all I want to do in there? Yeah, that's all I want to do in there for now. How long till this goes bad? Three hours. So, once this gets down to like one hour, I'll cook them all. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Let's turn that off. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, yeah, okay, that's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now I need to make an electronics printer. E electronics printer. Cool. What do I need for the electronics printer? I need... Iron, gold, and copper. Copper. Iron. Oh, I might have put steel in there. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, whatever. There. So... We're well on our way from misery to happiness. But as always, coming up short on time. Stationers is not exactly an action-packed game. So, next time.